All right, I'm back with some more Swords and Sandals Immortals, and the journey of Crixus the Gaul continues. So last time, we took down the fourth of the Grand Champions. There are only eight more to go. So I set out the plan for last time. We are going to head north to these two level 28 areas and become the regional champion here. Once we have done that, we will then go on to challenge the fifth of the Grand Champions. So, we may as well start our adventure. There is no point hanging around. We have a six-day journey ahead of us. Alright, we have just arrived at the new place and it is time to get some new gear. We have this shield here, which is better than our current one. So, we will pick that up. I believe there were also some arm guards. 60 more armor. Can't complain at that. We will take those. I think that's about it. Well, I think it is time to head to the arena. Who is the powerfulest gladiator going to be? 195 power. This should be a walk in the park, but you know the drill, lads. We'll give it our best. If we win pretty easy, I'll see you at the regional champion. Alright, buddy. We just need to roll an 8 and we are off to a flying start. Warrior strike to get rid of the armor. There goes half his armor already. There goes all of his armor. And now if we just power attack, I'm pretty sure this fight is over already. Oh, he did block the power hit. Okay, we'll give you that one, buddy. But try and block it again. Oh, he just used an ability to half our attack. This guy. This guy. All right. There we go. <laughs> all right. Well, I will see you all at the regional champion. Alright, it is time to face the regional champion. I wonder who it's going to be this time. Last time we fought a tree. <laughs> 228 power score. Okay, we are overpowered. John Dingo. We're versing John Dingo. Alright. <laughs> the crafty John Dingo. Alright, John Dingo, show us what you got, my friend. We have rolled a five, so he gets the first hit, and he swaps to a bow straight away. Fair enough. You do you, buddy. You do you. What the? We're scared? Forced to move backwards at the start of every turn? Really? Really? That is the tactic? He is going to make us walk backwards every turn while he leaps all the way to the other side. So we're for... Oh, man. That would have worked, pal, if it wasn't for the teleport. <laughs> we are one step ahead of you, my friend. Who a guy just didn't see it come in. He didn't see it coming. That teleport so far has been the best investment Crixus has made since the start of this playthrough. And well, the regional champion has been defeated. All hail Crixus the Gaul, champion of Hallenfall. We'll take the defense and you know what? Do we need the money? Not really. But then to be honest with you, there's not really much we need at all. Ah, we'll take the money. With the defeat of the Hallenfall Regional Champion, it is time to move on. We're going to head north to the caverns. It's going to take six days to travel there as well. To be honest with you, we probably could invest in a better mount. It won't give us much better. This is 240. We could probably go up to about 260. It might shorten the journeys a little bit. But either way, let's go. The question is, is there anything worth buying in the shop? There is this shield that gives 100 more armor. That is a pretty good shield. And it's worth 40,000. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that, lads. We got some pants here, which give plus 2 vitality. Plus 2 vitality. Interesting. We have a breastplate here. You know what, lads? We're going to have to spend a lot of money at the armorer today. 40,000 for the shield. Then we're going to take the pants for 14,000. And I think we're going to take the breastplate as well. That was an expensive trip. We were on 96,000. If we sell our goods, we might be able to make some of that money back. Okay, we got about half our money. 
There doesn't seem to be a new weapon we're interested in yet. I think we got really lucky with the saber that we found. But either way, I guess it is time to challenge the gladiator. I imagine they're going to be similar power to the last area. Yep, pretty much the exact same, I think. So in which case, I'll just see you at the regional champion. You don't need to see me fight this rogue. All right, it is time to face the regional champion. First, I'm going to hit up the training area and see if there's any new skills worth learning. What do we have here? Actions do not cost any essence for 10 turns. For a lightning bolt, you know how it is. <laughs> Just start having Crixus firing lightning everywhere. Why not? I mean, we can already teleport. So, I mean, lightning wouldn't be the most uh, insane thing we'd see Crixus do. This ability sounds like it could come in handy. A heavy melee attack that will destroy at least one piece of your enemy's armor. Although that being said, we do need to be level 42 for it. So uh, we're quite the way away at the moment. I'm not too sure why it's showing me level 42 abilities if we're only level 37. It looks like there's nothing to learn at the moment. We need to level up a bit and we might get that level 42 ability. But other than that, it is time to face the regional champion. They only have a power score of 222. Who's it gonna be? We're fighting Wub Wub. Alright, Wub Wub. Wub Wub the Worm. <laughs> oh man, try saying that fast five times. Wub Wub the Worm, Wub Wub the Worm. <laughs> wub Wub. <laughs> I can't stop saying his name. <laughs> Alright, what kind of stats do you have, my friend? Charisma. It is all stacked in charisma. Alright, we have to roll an 8 and we rolled a 9. That is great. We'll start off with the warrior strike as always. Get rid of some of this armor. Not bad. Blocked the first hit and got rid of half his armor. This is going pretty well so far. Oh, God. Oh, God. He took my legs off. Lads, my legs are gone. He's he's just ripped my legs off. Can, can anyone help? Oh, God. What has he done? This guy has just ripped our legs off. Why, Wub Wub? Why? You cannot move without legs. What, well, what are we supposed to do? We're just stuck here, lads. There's not a thing I can do. We have no legs. All right, thank you, Wub Wub, for walking closer to me. I appreciate it. Now die! <laughs> oh, man. No, don't hit him backwards. All right, we have double health regen, but I don't think that's going to bring back our legs. Maybe an unholy smite. There we go. <laughs> That's it, Crixus. You kill him, my friend. You kill him. Oh, man. Some yeti just ripped our legs off. All hail Crixus the Gold, the champion of Iceborea Caverns. But what did it cost? All right. After that traumatic last fight where we got our legs ripped off, I still can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. We are now going to challenge Grand Champion 5. Fingers crossed they give us our legs back and we are not permanently without them. It's going to be a bit hard to do the remaining fights if we don't have our legs. Alright, Grand Champion 5. It is Sir Gamblis Baham. Are we versing Mr. Baham? Oh god, he looks like a bear. He is the armoured bear. All right, this is it. It is time for Crixus the Gaul to verse the Armoured Bear. We're similar in power score, we're similar in level, but in terms of defense and strength, he destroys us. Oh man, this is going to be one tanky gladiator. But we are Crixus the Gaul. We used to choke out bears in the woods as a kid. <laughs> it is the Gaul way, and we rolled a 19. That is good. We have a warrior strike. Get rid of... Some he has an afro. It's just a man with an afro. This ain't no bear. We were tricked. You ain't no bear. Let's take him down, lads. He's out of stamina already. The mighty smash. He's a fraud. 
Well, there goes all of his armor. So much for being a bear. All right, buddy. You know what? We're going to hit you with the unholy smite. If this lands, you are about to receive a lot of damage. If this doesn't land, I guess we move on with our day and, well, yeah. I guess we just continue the fight as normal. And he's dead. We we just unholy smited the bear and then executed said bear. We're done. That was it. That was Grand Champion 5. Not gonna lie, lads, it is as if his strategy was just to intimidate us. He was no bear. Armored bear has fallen. You have defeated five of the 12 grand champions. That's not a bad helmet. We will become the bear now, my friend. That's what I like to see, lads. Crixus the Gaul will now intimidate his enemies with a bear helmet of his own. Now that we have defeated the two regional champions and have taken down Grand Champion 5, it is time to set out what we're going to do next time. We have a level 34, 38 and 40 area in this corner here. But down here we have a 30 area and a 32. So I guess we hit up both of those. And to be honest with you, we might hit up the 34 as well. Since we are starting to become a bit over leveled, we're going to be eight levels above this one. If we level up or not, we're going to be a few levels higher here. So we will smash out those three areas next time, get them over and done with. And then we will challenge Grand Champion 6. And that will mark the official halfway point. I did buy a new mount as well. So now we have a movement speed of 270. That should shorten the journeys a little bit. But otherwise, we are on track, lads. We are on track. We need to defeat Grand Champion 6 by about 150 days, which we should do easily. But other than that, it is just keeping up the grind. Crixus the Gaul must defeat every gladiator in the land. But that is going to be it for this part of the Swords and Sandals playthrough. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.